Welcome back to Warriors pregame live as it's currently Comcast business every connection counts. Of course, and we got Keith, Mr. Jennings, and a lot of you youngsters don't know about this man. Played three years with the Golden State Warriors, played with Bully, and was part of that playoff team where you guys played the Suns. Yeah. We won't bring that up here. Yeah, we don't work in job. We, that, right? we gave him a good run. We did. I mean, it's 3-0, but we... I know. It, it was a close game. Gentlemen's 3-0, they say. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. We got it. <laughs> <We got, laughs> yeah. What do you remember yeah. about that roster, man? Uh, it was... It was just a fun time, you know, playing with great players like Chris and uh, Tim. And, you know, Chris Webber was a rookie, and Spreewell was coming into his own, and, you know, dreams come true for the little guys. So I'm just happy to be out there and to get a chance to make a difference. It was exciting. You know, it was, it was a great fun time. And uh, unfortunately, it only lasted that one year because trades and stuff happened, but something I'll never forget. Keith, I've always admired people with dope nicknames and you have one of the best where did mister come from where did that nickname come for you well it, it came from my dad um i was a football player first you know learning the game faking kids out you know and being out there for our first little league practice and you know you're out there for a couple hours the draft is over with now you're just ready to go home and dad i could hear him you know he's like keith let's go but I was ignoring him because I'm meeting my new friends. You know, seven-year-old, you the man, you shaking everybody up a little bit. And he finally was like, Mr. Jennings, get over here. And I was like, <laughs> he was like, Mr., he calls you Mr.? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of stuck. Okay. <laughs> Keith, man, so good to see you. You too, man. And uh, we got so many great memories together. Tell, tell, tell our audience about your journey. Because now, you know, a lot of guys have the G League, right? We didn't have that back in the day. So when you came out of school, what was your journey to initially come to the Golden State Warriors? Well, you know, when I came out of East Tennessee State, you know, I was the best player in the country under six feet, uh, led the nation in assists, and I shot 59% from the three. I was second team All-American, so I thought I was gonna get drafted because most of the people that are first team or second team All-Americans get drafted. But unfortunately, it didn't happen for me, so I had to go to Germany and learn about the pro game. And then, uh, fortunate enough, you know, uh, Ed Gregory mm -hmm. happened to be in San Francisco when my German team came over and played a tour of the American teams. You know, we played Cal, Stanford, Pacific. And the night we played San Francisco University, uh, he happened to be in the stands, and I had a really great game. I had, like, 42 points and, like, 12 rebounds and six or seven assists. And he asked me to come back to the Summer League, try to make the Summer League, and that's kind of... You know, after getting cut by Indiana the year before, but now understanding that it's different levels and it's things you got to really work on to be a pro, I learned that. And when I got the opportunity and meeting you and just, you know, picking your brain about how you shoot that thing, how you do what you do, and Tim, and, you know, just I just took it all in, and it, it really helped me in my second go around. And I was just watching some of those clips, seeing Tim Hardaway in the post throwing out to Keith Mr. James for a three. <laughs> Talk about the, the fit playing for Nelly. Because back, back then, a lot of teams didn't have small guards. Now, each team always has one small guard to change pace. But you had an incredible ability, not only to change pace, change direction, but also knock down a three-point shot. Mm -hmm. But talk about coming to play for Nelly and his ability to use your strengths. Well, you know, I coach women's basketball at Lee's McRae College now, and one of the things I remember Nelly did was he took advantage of situations, whether it be Timmy and I playing together, or whether it be you using your advantage on smaller guards. I like that. I thought that was always a better way to score the basketball. So I try to teach that style of basketball to my girls. And, you know, Coach Nelson, he believed in me. You know, like you said, uh, I wasn't the typical short guy that only was going to be fast and could pass it. Like you said, I could really shoot the ball. And, you know, he, me and Timmy playing together, it kind of posed a problem. You know, if you had to help off Timmy with me, then, of course, he would make the right play. And, you know, it was just... It was a fun plan for Coach Nelson, man. He, he gives you an opportunity, and you better perform. And, you know, <laughs> if you don't perform, then, you know, you might not get that chance again. <laughs> no doubt. What does it mean to you to be honored by the Warriors or for their 75th anniversary team? Oh. NBA's doing it league-wide. The Warriors are doing it. They're bringing guys out. When you got that phone call, what was your first thought? I mean, like I said, it, it all goes back to dreaming, you know. Um, I had so many people tell me I wasn't going to make it, you know, whether it be college basketball or pro basketball. And when you keep working hard and you ignore those people and your dream comes true, and then to be honored with the team that have now won multiple championships and they still show you love. Because I can remember coming back a couple of summers ago and some people say, hey, you Mr. Jennings, 
Oh, y'all weren't that good when you played, though. But, yeah, we're doing it now. I'm not mad at them. It's great to see the city. I think they deserve that type. I mean, the fans have always been loyal. And to be able to come back and, you know, watch Chef Curry and these guys is, you know, another dream come true. No doubt. No doubt. Got some bully. Yeah, so, so, Mr. Jennings, so when you watch Steph Curry, right, playing on the ball, off the basketball, much like you do, right, when you watch on TV back there in North Carolina, what, what are you doing when you're sitting down watching his performances? You know, it's, it's he's amazing. You know, and it's funny because, as you know, I remember Tim Hardaway Jr. running around on the floor grabbing mm -hmm. the basketball, and I'm wondering, is he going to be a player one day? And when we go to Charlotte and I see Steph out there shooting with his dad, I'm like, I wonder how he's going to be. And then all of a sudden, you see these are two very good players in the NBA. So, and, uh, you know, and Steph and I, we both played in the Southern Conference. So, you know, for him to be the all-time leading scorer and me being the all-time leading assist guy and both of us played with the Warriors, I just felt like it, we were going to meet each other at some point and yeah. I was going to tell him how proud I am of him. And, I mean, he's the record setter, you know. I mean, you can shoot it. But I think he, I think he might be in the show. Oh, don't think. He's gone. He's gone. He's number one all the time. He's going to get 3,000 tonight. I believe it. Now, let me tell you something. Nelly would make that backcourt work, too. Yes. Steph Curry and Keith Mr. Jennings I, make I that work. Have no problem passing him the rock. <laughs> Your name always comes up in conversations, man. That 93 team when you guys played the Suns, and we know how it ended. But you guys made the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Weber was a rookie. Sprewell was there. Bully was rolling. Hardaway was out with the tour to, mm -hmm. tour to ACL. Remember that? Yep. Nader Johnson was in. Yep. And everybody always talks about, man, they had Keith, Mr. Jitty, so and he was good. He was a jolt of energy <laughs> off the bench. Well, that, that's a nice all-time roster here for Bay Area fans. I mean, it was fun playing with those guys um, every day. I mean, practices, you know, we knew the starters were going to play a lot of the minutes, but we were going at their nets in practice. <laughs> you know? it, it made us better. No, it no. made us better. And um, like I said, it was a fun team. Uh, and that team, we got along well off the court. Uh, just as well as on the court. And like I said, it, it was definitely fun playing with those guys. And you, you talk about filling in for Tim, Tim Torres' ACL. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's some pressure right there. And you, like you said, when you walked into that gym, Nelly went in production right away. Right away. Talk about filling in for a star like Tim Hardaway. I mean, Tim made me feel welcome right out the gate, you know, after I got used to him talking a little bit. You know, you gotta, you gotta show him that's not gonna scare you. And once that happens, I think he respects you. So he stayed in my ear a lot during that time. And actually I was recovering from my ACL. So I was able to help him as far as, don't worry, you're gonna get back, but you gotta work harder than you had to work before. And so it was definitely uh, a, a pleasure watching that, telling those killer crossover stories to my team and, People that want to hear it, it's amazing. Because seeing it every day up close and personal was fun. But at the same time, it made me respect how the other guards had to approach it. Because they looked like they had fear in their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I know that feeling. <laughs> hey, D-Rock, you see why they call him Mr., right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Mr. Jennings, today's your day, man. They're going to argue inside, man, and you deserve yes. it. Keith Jennings here on Warriors Free Game Live, presented by Comcast Business. And we try to figure out. We're going to try to figure out how the Warriors are going to defend Joker, Jokic tonight. The Joker. He's a problem. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find a way, though. I can't find a way. <laughs> Warriors Pre-Game Live is brought to you by Provident Credit Union.